do these steps if you want to grow your personal brand. I think it's going to be a good topic to get into for people like you that may be starting out or are just looking to grow their personal brand as well or these same things actually apply if you're building a brand as well so uh, i'm going to break this down into five steps starting with uh, step number one which is obviously creating consistent high quality relatable and valuable content and then step two which is obviously to be yourself your authentic true self because that's what people are gonna relate to at the end of the day. Step three, to engage with your community. Step four, give back to the community in multiple ways. Step five, grow with the trend, the market, the things that are happening that are gonna push you uh, in front of people and the algorithm. And then a bonus step at the end, which is obviously consistency. So I'll go more into detail for each of these steps as we get into the gym and start our workout. So for now, I'm gonna drink this pre-workout and then let's get straight into it. So starting with the first point, which is good quality, valuable and relatable content. This is probably the most important point of all, which is why we're starting with it as the first point. When you are starting off your personal brand on social media, obviously they wanna see what you're posting and why you're posting it. For somebody to click that follow button when there's hundreds of millions of other pages out there, you need to have some solid reasons of why they'll select you to follow your content in the first place. And that goes with being selfless. The type of content that you create is valuable for them. Okay, let's say, if, for example, if we're in like the fitness industry, if I were to start my page today, it can't just be me posing shirtless photos 24 seven and expect millions of people to buy into it and then I can just have brand deals. That's not how it's gonna happen. Maybe 15, 10 years ago when there was nothing like that on the internet, it could have, but now with all this other competition, you do have to make sure that there's some real value that you provide. So in this example, workout routines consistently in a high quality, real format, high quality photos with detailed captions about the, about the post, so let's say if you were doing carousel images of certain exercises or carousel images of foods that you're eating on a daily basis, and then maybe even mobility stretches, all sorts of content that you can do that gives real value to the people that are following you or potentially will follow you. So fitness content is one of them, workout content is one of them, your diet is one of them, and breathing, yoga, all these things where people can actually click the save button and be like, oh yeah, I'm doing this kind of workout, so maybe I should click the save button and look at that later. This, And then you keep popping up with consistent content, they're like, okay, let me actually follow this person because they do provide value. Whatever your niche is, you want to figure out exactly what kind of content you want to create for people but it can't be content that's revolved around who you are as a person where you're just flexing how cool my life is or how good I look because that gets very boring very easily. And frankly, it's kind of like selfish, selfish as well. So you wanna make sure that when you are creating a personal brand that it's for your viewers specifically. It's giving value and entertainment to your viewers consistently. Okay, last two, a slight help. Last one. Thank you. <laughs> when it comes to building your personal brand, something that you have to consider when you're starting out and want to grow this page of yours, and not even a page, like grow this brand of yours on multiple platforms is being consistently true to yourself. One thing that I see online, and when we're adding in new affiliates and athletes into a First Health as well, is something that I always look for and tell my team about as well. Okay, are these people actually true to who they are? Or are they posting stuff for clout? Are they just posting like their body consistently to get likes and comments? Especially for like 
I mean, it applies for both girls and guys, okay, but especially for girls, when you're just consistently just posting no value added, like photos of you, and all you see in the comments is a bunch of dudes like hyping you up, that's not someone that you want to collaborate with because that community isn't necessarily bought into the content creator versus they're just are bought into like what they look like. So when you are pushing your brand online on TikTok, on YouTube, on Instagram, on Snapchat, you want to make sure that you're, you're able to provide value and speak out from within of who you are and what you want to do for others because that's the thing that's going to align with the actual community the ones that will engage with your content the ones that will hype you for giving them value and improving their lives and confidence and workouts and all sorts of these things so something that can only come true if you're consistently true to who you are you're self-aware like these are my strengths and weaknesses I'm gonna put all of this out there. I'm gonna give the value on based on my strengths and I'm gonna be open about my weaknesses as well. So I, hum, what's the word? It humanizes the whole project as well. Like I'm just a person. I wanna help others. I wanna serve my community. I wanna put out good content, valuable content. And I'm not good at everything either, just like everybody else. So. Uh, it's something that your community is going to respect and connect with very well and that will lead into you working with brands that will buy into this oh this person is genuine they actually respond to everybody they actually put out good content they actually give value and entertainment to their community and that's the only way that your community will end up converting into dollar value is by being true to yourself Thing that I've noticed on social media is a lot of these newer content creators or even in the industry that have been around but not necessarily growing like the reason that I've noticed is everything for them is transactional every post that they make is either a plug for something that they want to get brand deals from or selling these courses on how to improve your life and become like online mentors and coaches of business coaches and life coaches but it's like what value but then I, I you always question like you're 22 year olds like what life experience and coaching abilities would you have right now to sell me a program I think a lot of people see right through you some end up buying into you but there's never any long-term retention and then you wonder like okay how come I'm not getting more brand deals because brands see this as well. And at the end of the day, when everything is transactional for you, it's gonna be very hard to actually scale your personal brand because it's not coming out from a selfless attitude, but it's coming from a transactional attitude. You gotta forget about all that and you gotta be in a mindset like, these are my strengths again. I just wanna put it out there, help the community, give value and do it for free like i don't care what comes out of that i just want to help others so if you truly say like oh i'm starting my page and my personal brand because i want to help others then do it for free everything should not be transactional and if you're doing it free for a long amount of time naturally people will buy into you brands will buy into you and then you'll get the transaction and to the third point which is engaging with your community so each one of these points actually go hand in hand with each other you can't just do one of them to create a good personal brand each one of them are equally as important, especially the first one. But on point number three, which is engaging with your community, is something that I also see not a lot of upcoming content creators do, is when you are putting good content out there, and let's say you are being valuable and entertaining as well, and you're getting engagement, for whatever reason, I always see this, that in the comments, you have all these people engaging with your content, but you never like it, you never respond back, and never, you never really engage with them. So how can you expect to be a true content creator that gives real value and grows a community, which will then get good brand deals and convert into a dollar value when there's a one-way conversation? Imagine if like in real life, 
you're saying something and you have friends around and you're they're saying all this hype stuff to you they keep thumbs up in you and saying how awesome you are and you just like stand there quiet the whole time eventually those people are gonna be like like are you good bro and they'll walk away to another person who has a two-way conversation these are humans like the same way you engage with people in real life hopefully is the same way that you should engage with people on your social media as well so be open to responding back be open to liking their comment and even leaving comments on their posts like actually create a community like have some group chats do one of those broadcast channels give value send off messages in their dms where it actually like feels personalized like oh this person actually cares about me following them and engaging with my content actually like looking pretty decent today already kind of mid way of the workout but it's good going into point number four which is giving back is something that is also equally as important to do when you're building your personal brand and the community around this uh, value that you're putting out so considering that you're putting out good content you're engaging with your community you're being true to yourself the next thing you want to do is find ways to actually give back to your community too. So if they're taking the time out to support you, comment, engage, and even buy your products and services, or the collaborations that you're working with, buying their products and services, then you have to make sure that you do something for them in return too. So for example, like setting up giveaways, if you can do it with other brands as a collaboration where you can give something to your community, that's awesome. If you don't have any currently and you're just starting out, maybe you can engage with the community and figure out what products and services that they're into and just go buy some gift cards from that, pro from that brand yourself. Just little things that you can do can make a big impact on your community. It's always about give, 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 and then ask strategy and something that's so underrated as well because we all just wanna take, take, take but we forget that karma works in giving first and then receiving. So uh, giveaways is a really good thing to do. Sending them DMs and just like, hey, thank you so much for following me and supporting my content. Just an appreciation message or post is a big thing. If your community is supporting you, even just putting them up on your story and giving them an appreciation post, a reshare could just mean a lot too. So. There's many things that you can do to give back to your community, but it's something that you'll have to figure out exactly who your community and your members and your customers and your followers are. And then from that point on, you could figure out like what kind of things you can do for them. And if you don't know what to do for them, just put up a story like, how can I give back to you guys? I just want to thank you. And I'm sure many of them will just respond back by giving you ideas to do for them. But I gave you a few. You can figure out your own, but do make sure that in the strategy of building your personal brand, that one of the things is giving back to the community as well. brings us to our final point point number five which is to grow with the trend so this is something where you can get a little bit more analytical where depending on which platform you're working on whether it's Instagram or TikTok or YouTube understand exactly what the market is pushing out what the algorithm is pushing out to the people so you want to spend time on each platform let's say take an Instagram for an example that you're looking at the explore feed you're looking at what's popping up on your homepage you're looking at what type of 
people your potential customers and followers are following, what kind of content they engage with, and just spend like a quite amount of time, I would say, understanding fully who your target market is, target audiences, and who they end up engaging with. And then go into the explore feed, see what kind of content is constantly being featured that you mess with as well, that you would want to create as well. What kind of sounds they're doing, how long the clips are, six seconds, nine seconds. Is it indoor, is it outdoor, color? Like all of these things matter. And you won't really have the right answer for this too because that's where like testing comes into play. So making sure like, okay, I want to grow my page on Instagram specifically through Instagram Reels because that's what's trending right now. So I'm aware of that. And then with Reels, it should be in between like 6 to 12 seconds. It'll give some sort of hook, some value. It's like, okay, in the beginning this pops up and then all the way through the end, the, the consumer, the viewer ends up watching it because at the end, the ants will pop up pop up so you want to make sure that you hook them with something or you want to make sure that you give them value right off the bat like this is the reason that you're going to be watching the next 12 seconds and then this is the reason if you like this that now you can follow our page on my page as well for more similar content like that and then on top of that there's always trending sounds as well some people say they don't matter i do think that they matter and at the end of the day if your content is good which includes the audio as well you're more likely to be in a successful you're more likely to be put on the explore feed and engage with your potential followers and viewers anyway. So just have all angles correct. And then same thing applies for TikTok as well. Maybe on Instagram, it's the nine second reels that are working, but on TikTok right now, carousel images with text overlays work better. So that's something that you also want to consider. Oh, maybe the content that I'm using on Instagram, sh I shouldn't keep reposting the same thing on TikTok and YouTube either. Maybe I should spend time learning the explore page on TikTok again, see what kind of content I mess with, what my viewers and followers potentially would mess with, what the explore feed is promoting, what kind of sounds they're promoting, and then going into that. So on TikTok, it could be carousel images. On Instagram, it could be nine second reels. And on shorts, it could be 15 second, totally different type of uh, YouTube short that gives real value to your viewers. So this is something that I can't give you specific examples of other than what I just stated, but it's something that you'll have to test on each platform. And it's something that you should create new content for each platform as well. I wouldn't suggest to just grab the same content and keep spamming it on all sorts of social media. That's like just having three Instagram accounts. To build your personal brand, it's gonna be a marathon where it does take a while to get to truly where you want to go and have an engaged community. You can't just build that overnight, just like anything else that's worth building. So, uh, and that requires real strategies on a day-to-day -day basis, real work on a day-to-day -day basis where you'll have to put in. So uh, if you're unclear on how to do that, you can listen to discipline over motivation and you can create good habits on a daily to actually make those dreams come true of uh, building your personal brand. stay consistent to what you're doing you have to put in the daily work the daily efforts to grow that and then you consistently just keep chipping you're doing as much as you can on a daily and you do it for a long time and then results will show so with that being said i'm gonna finish off the rest of my workout do some cardio see you guys in a couple days peace